It is coffee time with John. It's a beautiful day outside, and I went out to sit on my back deck and, and do my coffee time this morning. But today, for some reason, seemed to be the morning that all of my neighbors decided it was time to cut their grass. So I didn't want to do this uh, out there and have you guys have to struggle to hear me over top of my uh, my neighbor's mowers. So I came inside. Um, I love I love when I'm talking with you guys and and people come on and comment and say something that is based upon the concept that the Bible is infallible and that the Bible is the direct word of God and cannot be um, challenged in any way, shape, or form. And the first thing, of course, I do is challenge it because I pull out all the quotes that make absolutely no sense whatsoever uh, and aren't loving and are not caring and and um, – I say there's much truth in the Bible, there's much truth in the Quran, there's much truth in the writings of Buddha, there's much truth in the Bhagavad Gita, there's much truth in Star Wars and movies and plays and the conversation with the guy you're having down the street and the, the, the conversation with your toddler. There's much truth in all of it. But to follow an ancient text as if it was an infallible law, as if it was infallible law, to me would be like taking the advice of, or taking the rules given to me by a caveman about scuba diving, it's probably not going to end well. Because think about that. There's no way that caveman can know anything about scuba diving. And those ancient texts are written at a time in history when First of all, most of them, or all of them, pretty much came from a patriarchal society. So there was no equality, per se. It came from a time where they didn't understand uh, the concepts of uh, a round earth or, or any of these, these concepts, or these things, these scientific things that we all take to be true now, whether they are or not is, is a debatable question. But um, And people will say, no, it's not. It's science. It's not debatable. And I'd say that's just another, another dogma in itself because there's a, there's a paradox of science as well. So all science is based on empirical evidence. And we know that everything that we look at and experience in this world is made of pure energy. And all of that empirical evidence is shown to us in this illusion that made up a pure energy. This illusion of uh, an energy event is what Einstein called it. And when you mix in the, the ancient texts and the new texts and, and, and the science of now, the new science of noetic science especially, you know, they're beginning to discover that some of those ancient texts had some truth in them you know, about our thoughts being creative. But then there was a whole bunch of other stuff in there about, you know, um, never buy a slave from your own country. That's in there somewhere. You know, you know, you can beat your slave as long as he doesn't die because he's your property. Uh, no, per no man should wear their hair longer than their shoulder because that's the length Jeshua wore it, supposedly. Um, there's all these, there's all these rules and laws and um, there's a great video on YouTube. Uh, it's a West Wing clip. And it's if you just go on YouTube and search West Wing Bible Quotes, uh, you will find this one scene where he just takes this, this evangelical woman and knocks her down with, with a string of Bible quotes that make no sense. So it really comes down to truth is found within you. Truth is, is within your own feelings. And when you take those feelings and you make them a part of you and you start to follow those truths, then you find that um, first of all, you're more joyful. You're more happy. And God is love. And God is joyful and happy. 
when you get in your head about all these rules and things, you, you're in this struggle, this struggle. And God isn't about struggle. God is about love and joy and happiness. And God is found in a laugh. And when you find that, that feeling within that laugh, you have found God. And all the laws and rules and struggles that were thrust upon us by people 2,000 years ago who were trying to make sense of everything, it just makes no sense. It makes no sense to, to believe it's all infallible. It makes no sense to believe that you have to take every word as absolute truth. Because you, I, we could argue all day long, I can show you multiple hundreds of examples of reasons why you shouldn't believe it. Adam and Eve were the only man and woman. They had Cain and Abel. Cain, Cain and Abel took wives. Where did they come from? You know, it makes no There's so many things that just don't make sense, right? George Carlin used to say, if God is all-powerful, can he make a rock that he himself cannot lift, Right? It's a great joke, but it's also it's also a concept of they're creating rules and answers to things that they have no answers for. All things are possible, and and they're trying to create rules. And when second you create rules and laws, you limit, you make things not possible. And I, a lot of the um, the concepts in this this video this morning are all about all came from a. Uh, a channel writing I did for uh, an upcoming session. And there's the concepts are in this. And I wanted to bring it out because it, it really explains a lot. But I love the the analogy of following the, the ancient texts. He's like asking a caveman how to scuba dive because I think that makes perfect sense. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy your coffee as well. I hope the neighbor's mowers aren't, aren't messing your morning up. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. You know, every day I pour my heart into creating these videos so that they bring value. That's my, that's my goal. That's my intention. And if they have brought value to you and you have the means, directly below this video you're going to see a donation link. You can donate as, as little or as much as you'd like if you have found value. Also... You can go to johnofnew.com, pick up my regression, which is the, the moment of me meeting Jeshua and witnessing the crucifixion is on that regression. My meditations, my mini courses, even prints of my Jeshua painting are available on the johnofnew.com website. So if you have the means and you, and you would like to make a purchase or make a donation, please feel free because this channel solely exists by your generosity. And I am completely grateful to you for allowing me to speak my truth and hopefully bringing value to you. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.